Today, we're covering psychology of testing. The first thing we need to learn is the concept of confirmation bias. Here's the definition. It is difficult to accept information that disagrees with currently held beliefs. So when a human is faced with an idea that goes against what he believes, he will refuse to accept it. Our human here is a software developer. And when someone comes and tells him that his software is not functioning properly, it's difficult for him to believe that. This is nothing new. It is a common human trait to blame the bearer of bad news. In our example, the bearer of bad news is the tester because he is going to the developer to tell him that his software is not working correctly. So how do you handle this kind of situation between the tester and the developer? The action point is, information about defects and failures should be communicated in a constructive way. So, whenever the tester finds a defect and has to tell the developer, he has to find a constructive way to communicate. He shouldn't criticize the developer, but stick to explaining what the real problem is. So now, we move on to human psychology and testing. It is the tester's job to understand how the other person feels when he tells them that their software isn't working well. In order to do that, he needs to communicate well. He should develop his communication skills so that he isn't criticizing the developer but giving constructive feedback. To further help with this aspect, the tester should keep the following points in mind. Start with collaboration rather than battle. You do this by emphasizing the benefits of testing. You make the developer understand how testing is helping his software. Confirm that the other person has understood what has been said and vice versa. You have to be sure that the developer understood everything you said and that you understood everything that the developer has said. And finally, communicate test results and other findings in a neutral, fact-focused way. So you should have all the documents, all the test scripts, and results with you that would support your point. This will show the developer why his product isn't working and you will have avoided any conflict resulting from hurt feelings. That's all from this video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, happy testing!